I know my sheep and my know me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Some of you probably know St. Mary's was my first full-time assignment when I was ordained. And um, I must say, I never have worked as hard since as I did when I was here. Uh, but that was good. It was a wonderful assignment, and I, I, you know, I've always loved St. Mary's. And I was here, this is what, uh, I'll put it in context. Uh, I was here to do confirmation two or three years ago. And... Um, uh, confirmation class and their sponsors were sitting all in the center and there was a nice young man sitting right in the first row a very nice appearing young man and an older woman was sitting next to him and I judged that probably the older woman was his grandmother she was his sponsor and uh, um, she looked like she could be his grandmother and if if you're here and you're really his aunt I sorry I thought you were his grandmother but anyway um, I said, well, I used to be stationed at St. Mary's. Uh, I was here from 1968 to 76. And I looked at him, I said, do you remember me? And of course, he looked at me like I came from another planet. His parents hadn't even been born during those years, never mind him. But the lady next to him said, I remember you, Father Joyce. So that's the context. I was here a long time ago. And if you uh, uh, are somewhat old and have lived here for a while, you might remember, but it is a long time. Today, the uh, fourth Sunday of the Easter season, uh, we call Good Shepherd Sunday. And it's called Good Shepherd Sunday because every year in the three-year cycle of readings, there's a different gospel. But the gospel has the same theme, and that is that Jesus is our Good Shepherd. Uh, and we know very well what this, what this means, the Good Shepherd, the name. He's always with us. Uh, he gives his life to the flock, that is, to us. Uh, he defends us, even to the point of his, own, of his own death. And we, as part of that flock, we follow him. And we try to figure out what he wants of us. Uh, and we try to be obedient to his will, to his direction in our lives. This is really a kind of a somewhat simplified summary of who the Good Shepherd is, and of how the flock lives. Uh, it seems very clear, everybody has their responsibilities, the things they're supposed to do, uh, and presumably they fulfill them without any problem. But to be obedient to the word of God, uh, to be obedient to the will of God, can include lots of other things as well. And today's first reading is a good example of that. Paul and Barnabas are part of Jesus' flock, but they received a special calling. They were called to preach, to help the leaders of the Jewish people and others as well, to help them to understand who is this Jesus uh, and how has, was he a part and continued to be part of the history of salvation of the Jews. Tough job for Paul and Barnabas, really. And the Jewish leaders ultimately rejected their message, Paul and Barnabas' message, and rejected them. 
and rejected a great many other early Christian preachers as well. Many of them lost their lives because of their faith in Jesus. But think a little bit about the flock. In a flock with real sheep, uh, everybody pretty much does the same thing. The sheep eat, they walk around with the good shepherd, they sleep, do other things, and that's about it. But in Jesus' flock, with real people, real human beings like all of us, we have our own callings, all of us, our own, uh, our own tasks that we are, we are called to do. And we're very different one from another. Some are like those first apostles, preachers, charged with evangelizing people. Deacons, like Deacon Roger, are given the responsibility from the earliest days of the church for the charity of the community, within the community and outside the community. The second reading, we see that everybody has the call to praise God. Everybody has the call to pray. And, t and today, on this Mother's Day weekend, we see that everybody has the vocation, almost everybody, has the vocation to be part of a family and to share their faith within that community of the family. So we might ask today, what is my vocation? What is my vocation within the flock of Jesus? Which is to say, within this community, within the city of Westfield, within this parish of St. Mary's. How am I contributing to the life of the community? And what is my specific vocation? My specific call from God, what am I good at, in other words? And how am I carrying that vocation, that call out?